Shalom, 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 Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. Around me, your fellows of Malachi, <clears throat> coming in with another lesson today. A uh, quick lesson. Uh, it's basically going into uh, the video I just seen going into uh, Dabu, uh, what, 777, and he was going into um, the National Terrorism Advisory uh, System, all right? Uh, basically, System Bulletin, okay, which was put out, I believe it was today, uh, June 7th, uh, this morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is from uh, the Homeland Security, uh, DHS.gov. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. All right, because <coughs> it's a lot. This is um, uh, Esau Edom. All right, he's building up the narrative. Okay, because all, all this is leading up into uh, the persecution, all right, of the Israelites. Okay, and you can see Esau Edom is, 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 is setting up uh, certain men, all right, out there on the highways and hedges. All right, they're out there with their... Um, uh, with their sticks, okay, you know, and, you know, and you have um, these mass shootings, okay, in these public places such as the grocery stores, okay, in these churches, okay, and just out in the public. So now this is a, a, a bulletin of a terrorism threat, all right, to the United States. <coughs> okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it. It says the United States remains in a heightened threat environment, as noted in the previous bulletin, and several recent attacks have highlighted the dynamic and complex nature of the threat environment. In the coming months, we expect the threat environment to become more dynamic as several high profile events could be exploited to justify acts of violence against a range of possible targets. <clears throat> okay. So now you can see how this could easily be flipped it. All right. Flipped onto uh, a, a, a bad light onto the Israelites. Okay. Cause now they're saying that, um, uh, uh, these things could be uh, in the coming months could be more dyna uh, dynamic, okay? As several high-profile events could be exploited to justify acts of violence against a range of possible targets, okay? They could easily say that hey, these are target these are targets and these uh, are targets by uh, the Israelites, okay? You already see the narrative is being planted. All right. And the seeds being planted, you already been seeing it on the news the recent years. OK, with the Hebrew Israelites. <coughs> all right. With uh, uh, with shootings. All right. You now you have the things going on with the um, uh, with gun rights. OK, you just had a press uh, conference what last week with Joe Biden. All right. Going on to the TV. All right. Telling uh, uh, what Congress should do with these gun laws. OK, it says let's read on some more. It says these targets could include public gatherings, faith based institutions, schools. All right. This is what we've been seeing. <coughs> the faith based institutions, they've been getting shot up. Schools been shot up. Different public gatherings been getting shot up. You've been seeing that in the news recently. It says racial and religious minorities, government facilities and personnel. U.S. critical infrastructure, the media, okay, go hey, going into also the things of what uh, uh, YouTube uh, uh, plays out, other uh, different social uh, media uh, platforms out there. It says, and perceived ideological opponents, threat actors have recently mobilized to violence due to factors such as personal grievances, reactions to current events. And adherence to violent extremist ideologies. <clears throat> okay, because this is why you see um, the Lord had spirit upon, uh, I believe it was the elders, 
uh, from uh, GMS Dallas, and they was going into um, the things that watch what we speak. Okay, the things that we do bring out are the things of the scriptures and what the Lord is going to do. It's not the things of what we are going to do. It's the things of what Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, said that He was going to do. Okay, we're not going to speak our words. We're going to speak the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, um, where was I? It says, reactions to current events, adherence to violent extremist ideologies. <clears throat> it says, including racially or eth ethnically motivated or anti-government, anti-authority, violent extremism. Okay, so we can see the things of what the prophets speak. Okay, it is, is you know, it's basically gearing towards the downfall of this whole place, this system. Okay, but we're saying that it is going to be Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that's going to take this place out. All right, it's not going to be in the hands of us. Okay, but you got other Israelite uh, 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 men out there, okay, being carnal and they're, they're gearing up. They're showing videos of them with their, uh, with their guns, with their sticks, okay, bringing a bad light unto this truth. Okay. It says, including terrorist organizations and nation state adversaries also remain intent on exploiting the threat environment to promote or inspire violence. So discord, the things of what we preaching out there, they will say that we're sowing discord. We're inspiring violence. It says, or undermine U.S. democratic institutions. We continue to assess that the primary threat of mass casualty violence in the United States stems from lone offenders and small groups motivate motivated by a range of ideological beliefs and or personal grievances. Okay. So we can see in these recent and these next coming weeks to months <clears throat> that Esau is getting ready to spin something. Okay. It says uh, several recent violent attacks by lone offenders against minority communities. OK, that was what we've been seeing. It says schools, houses of worship, mass transit have demonstrated that the dynamic and complex nature of the threat environment facing the United States. OK, so they're going to say that what they could say. All right. We don't know, but this is the devil. He's going to spit it off onto some way of onto the Israelites. You just had a just recent video with the two thirds, okay, fighting for um uh, I believe it was what uh they call it black activists, all right, and they were going up against the group IUIC, okay, talking about we're preaching hate, we're preaching this, okay, making a whole big scene. You got the cops out there. You see, so hey, in any type of way, Esau Edom is going to spin it onto, onto the Israelites, all right, to make it, make it look bad upon us. It says individuals in online forums that routinely prom, prom, promulgate domestic violence extremists and conspiracy theory related content have praised the May 2022 mass shooting at an elementary school in Old Valde, Texas, Texas, and encourage copycat attacks. <coughs> Others have seized on the event to attempt to spread disinformation and, in, and incite grievances, including claims it was government staged event meant to advance gun control measures. Is this not the things of what well, uh, we speak? It says, uh, we, we don't have to keep going two more. We'll read another one. It says, a, a, a violent attack in May 2022 in Laguna Woods, California, targeted congregants of a church that served the Taiwanese community. The attack killed one individual and wounded five others. According to the lead, the lead investigative agency, the suspect also placed Molotov cocktail like devices around the church and secured the doors with chains and super glue. Okay, and hey, is it not us? We speak against the harlot houses. So you can see how 
this narrative is is a is going to play out, man. And we can see Esau Edom is trying to change the narrative and to bring uh, 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 these things uh, of of acts of terrorism. Okay, and it's all going to lead eventually onto the Israelites. The scriptures talk about a great insurrection. Let's get that. <clears throat> Well, yeah, let's get that. Second Ezra 16 <clears throat> and verse 70. It says, for there shall be in every place and in, and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. See, this is going to be when Esau Edom has all the things uh, planted upon uh, uh, the things that he needs. You're going to have it on the TV. It's going to be on uh, social media. You're, the Israelites are going to be the most hated people upon the earth. Even the scripture says, you shall be hated for my name's sake. Okay? <clears throat> Let's read that again, verse 70. For there shall be in every place, in every place, so you can see Esau Edom is already gearing this stuff all around. And in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Let's get that word. Uh, <clears throat> insurrection. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Insurrection. There we go. Insurrection, <clears throat> a noun, it says an uprising against civil authority. Okay, it says insurrection, a rising up, a stem of insert to rise up. <clears throat> okay, so this is what we're going to be seeing. Esau Edom, like the scripture says, he's going to come in like a flood. Okay, here it is. The insurrection is going to be a rising up. <clears throat> Okay, a rising up upon those that fear the Lord. Um, what was that, Mark? Let's get that, Matthew 24. And it goes and say, you shall be hated for my name's sake. a lot. Let me see. Let's see oh, it's a lot. This is the book of Matthew 10 <clears throat> and verse 22. And ye shall be hated for all men. It's a lot. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Okay, so it's going to be some hard times, some afflictions. Okay, persecutions is getting ready to come. All right, towards the men of the Lord. Okay, because all these different acts, these different things, violence is all going to be uh, put upon uh, uh, the men of the Lord eventually, real soon. <clears throat> it says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, because we're out there serving Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, we're speaking the things of what he told us to say. But he that endured to the end shall be saved. So it's going to show you that it's going to be a time of affliction that we're going to have to endure. Okay. Um, what's that, Mark? I think it's 14. It's a lot. Mark 14. Maybe it's 13. This is the book of Mark 13, verse 9. <clears throat> it says, But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. So all this is leading up into the persecution. Okay, as we see these things unfold, it says, and the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, 
take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. Neither do ye premeditate. Okay, think about what you're getting ready to say. It says, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Spirit. Okay, it's going to be the Spirit. Okay, that's going to be speaking. All right, towards uh, 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 these councils, these governors, these people that's going to be in power. Okay, because it's all going to be for the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Okay, which is what? The spirit of prophecy. You're going to see brothers in there spitting, all right, and giving nothing but pure prophecy of the things that's getting ready to come into this place, unto the people, to, unto uh, the heathens, all right, unto Esau Edom. That kingdom is going to fall, okay? The Lord is going to show all these different things, all right, through the testimony of what the prophets are going to be speaking in that time, okay? Because we're coming into some serious times. Let's bring out that word uh, persecution, Because it's all leading up to the persecution. It says persecution is a noun. It says oppress oppression for the holding of a belief or opinion. <coughs> it says persecution, damage, affliction, suffering. See, these are the things we're getting ready to go through. The afflictions, the suffering. All right. The things of what Esau Edom is about to put out there. OK, and we can already see he's gearing the narrative towards that. It says to follow, to pursue, to hunt down. See, going into the, what that insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. See, Esau, Edom is getting ready to pursue, to hunt down. All right. The prophets. All right. He's going to be, he's getting ready to come in like the flood, like the scriptures say. It says proceed against to prosecute. To start legal action. See, the legal action is going to be him putting all these things into play. He's gathering up information. He's gathering up intel. You can see him. He's uh he's putting the narrative out there on the uh so like on the news on his media, okay. And he's gonna switch and he's gonna cut different clips. He's gonna have our uh, faces, our names, all stuff is gonna be on TV on 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 social media. You're not going to be able to run away. It's not going to be cute anymore to be an Israelite in that time that we're getting ready to approach. Okay? And we can see him putting the things out for a a, 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 what, a, a high a dynamic. All right? Things is getting ready to come towards the men. It was one more scripture I wanted to bring out. Let's see. <clears throat> Here it is. Um, Mark 4 going into uh, the source, sowing the seed, all right? And this is going to you being grounded in his truth in that time, okay? You got to be grounded in his truth now, but how much more in that time, okay? It says, let me start at verse Mark 4, verse 16. It says, and these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground. Who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. So right now you have people, they may get this word, they may receive it with gladness. Okay, but they didn't attach themselves to the root of this, what this truth is all, uh, all about. It says, and have no root in themselves and so endure, but for a time. So right now, people, they enduring right now. But that time hasn't come to where Esau Edom is getting ready to come in. All right. He's getting ready to come in and, and, and have that insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Coming in brothers houses late at night, taking them up. All right. Bring them to the jails, prisons. OK. It says and have no root in themselves and so endure. But for a time afterward. When affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. So there's going to be a lot of people that you think that's going to be a, that you think that's about this truth is going to fall away. They're going to uh, uh, get shaken. They're going to be scared at that time. They're going to lose faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. 
They're going to be offended at all the things that's getting ready to happen. You also got to think about you're going to have the two thirds Jake coming up towards you. All right. Trying to fight you. Probably fucking around pl playing with you. OK. Trying to fight you. Jump you. All these different things is going to be getting ready to be played out because we don't know how Esau Edom is going to play it out. But ultimately, it's going to be Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai putting these things out to test his men. OK. Their integrity, their character. What's this? Revelations. And we can close out on this. Revelations chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast up some of you into prison that ye may be tried. See, this is the time of trial. The Lord is getting ready to put upon his men to build his men up. It says, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days, all right? A, a number amount of days you're going to be within the prison. It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And that's what we're hoping for, to receive the crown of life, okay? But first, we got to go through all the afflictions, all right? All the different things of what the Lord is getting ready to put us through, all right? But it's also to bring us out on the other side. To shine as gold. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwakim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety salutations out there to you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malachiah. Shalom.